Hey everyone, if you guys been following my channel, I did a review on these uh, true wireless Bluetooth headphones here from Altec Lansing. At the time, it was just a Best Buy exclusive. But now I believe you can get it elsewhere other than Best Buy, including Amazon. And... The whole time I've had it in the 10 months that I've had this these uh, earbuds headphones earphones I, I love them first of all number one they have great sound quality that's number one once you take the time to find the right tips and here's number two it came with like over eight tips in general they were like three different sizes of silicone tips and then or four different sizes of silicone tips and then four different sizes of like foam tips I ended up using the medium foam tips and uh, the sound was just amazing so as far as sound goes it's it has great sound it's got punchy bass Especially for someone like me who likes to listen to a lot of bass heavy music. It's got very punchy bass. Uh, good mid tones and highs like trebles. And it had good stereo separation. It connected seamlessly with my smartphone. That was number three. Number four, it was Bluetooth 4.2, and even though it, there was no aptX certification or anything on this, um, I don't know what kind of codex it, it was certified for, because it didn't really say. There were not too many specs on this uh, headphone, even on Altec Lansing's website. Um, there were no latency issues. That means whenever I watched videos, especially like when you stream videos like on your smartphone or on your computer watching YouTube or anything like that at least on Windows 10 and on Android uh, there is no lag no latency issues nor no lag or anything on these uh, headphones so that was good also that was very good and so the only one problem that I had with these is okay they claim oh yeah number four or five <laughs> These headphones are also IPX7 or IPX. They're IPX6, so they're waterproof. I, if you guys seen my video, I put them underneath the sink and uh, I was washing them, and so and they work just fine. It's got Siri and voice assistant, and call quality was pretty decent on these. And then now, um, here's the thing. Oh. The case, if you guys can see, it looks metallic, but you can see right through the top, and it looks like it's still charging one of my uh, earbuds. And then you got this these LED lights uh, in the front here to tell you how many charges it still has. So here, here's the thing. Um, I love this. I love these earbuds, except for one thing: the battery life. Um, Altec Lansing claims a four hour battery life and that's if you only listening to your music like let's say 50-55% but I usually blast my music because I'm deaf like around 80 probably 90% when I'm listening to my headphones so at 80 to 90% when you're listening to your music with these headphones I, I would say you would probably get like Two and a half hours, maybe three. Altec Lansing claims four hours. And then, you know, you can get, you can chip, re replace them inside this uh, case and then get another four charges. Okay. So four times four, a total of like 16 hours of, uh, of play time. Up to four hours per charge. And uh, it's also underneath here. It's one of the few earbuds that has a case that comes with Qi wireless charging under right here. It's also wireless charging enabled. So you don't even have to 
plug it in through the micro USB port. You could just, if you have a wireless charger, place it on your wireless charging dock and charge it that way, even though it takes a little longer. So yeah, battery life was the only thing that I didn't like on this, especially if I go on like long trips or long hikes. I don't usually work out no longer than an hour and a half to up to two hours. So they're fine for working out in the gym. But on like if I go on any hikes or something, you know, any like road trips, um, then yeah, they won't last as long. So I was looking for other headphones. And I was looking at the Creative Outlier Air. And the only place you can get the Creative Outlier, Outlier Air earbuds is on Creative's website themselves. Which is fine, because on their website, it says that they have a 30% a off sale for Father's Day. And it said site-wise, right? For the time that I got this, it was like $99. Or... It, it's uh the sale price on these earbuds are ninety nine dollars, but at the time that I purchased them, uh, Best Buy had a sale, and so I only got them for like seventy nine, and which was the same price as the Creative um, Outlier Air, and so I was thinking I was going to get those Creative Outlier Air earbuds, and with the thirty percent off for Father's Day, you know they would come to around. 50 or so bucks <laughs> I'm not very good with math so you can correct me in the comments say how stupid I am but yeah but when I was getting ready to check out on their website you know to pay for the uh, earbuds and verify my code which was uh, the Father's Day code was super dead the it wasn't giving me the 30% off and then when you look and check to verify the code it was only for certain items, so it was kind of false advertising because on Creative's website it said, you know, store-wide, site-wide sale, 30% off Father's Day sale. But then it, it was only for a certain product, so Creative, either freaking say for every product and don't say, don't say site-wise, just say on certain products. Don't say site-wide or whatever or what not because it's false advertisement so I said screw this I looked on Amazon and I typed in like um, true wireless earbuds with aptX and I, I got these so these are the me buys um, earbuds and uh, over a hundred and something reviews on Amazon's website it averaged four and a half stars and these look just like creative the creative outlier air they look just like them i think even down to this packaging so maybe they're made in the same factory or from the same um oem so looking through amazon's page on these earbuds spec for spec wise spe specifications wise they're pretty much almost identical with um Create the Creative Outlier Air, including this uh, Qualcomm chip right here, Qualcomm Aptek certification, 24-hour uh, playtime. It's got this nifty LED status, which um, the Creative Outlier didn't have on their uh, earbuds, the case. So it has in numbers the percentage, whether you're at full 100% um, charging or whatever, um, you know, 80, 90, 50%, 40% percent charged. And so that was uh, another pretty cool feature that it had. It's also uh, IPX5 certification. Uh, so that's probably like just a little bit of water and sweat proof. Um, this one is IPX6. Um, other specs that were identical is... Uh, I think it's got like the six millimeter um, graphene drivers. On uh, Creative, it's like five. It said five point seven, five point eight uh, graphene drivers. This said six on this one, so it's gonna sound pretty good. That's if you get the uh, you know if you find the right tips for your ears. So and it, it did say it had pretty good bass on the website, 
and good stereo separation. And with the Qualcomm Aptex, um, you shouldn't have any latency issues, no lag during videos when watching videos on with the voice and stuff like that, matching the uh, you know the picture. And like I said, uh, it's got a longer battery life than my Evos. Uh, this is supposed to have like seven to eight hours, maybe ten hours of uh, of playtime at fifty percent volume. So at fifty percent volume, let's just say seven to eight hours. Um, it's still going to be a lot longer than this at you know ninety percent volume. At ninety percent or eighty percent of this, it'll probably still be. It'll still go over four or five hours which is uh for me it's it's long enough like i said at 80 90 percent volume on this these altec lansing it'll only last me two and a half maybe three okay so walking again through the side here so walking to the side here it's i guess these are what you would use them for i don't know what this is i guess that's for riding a bike uh drinking coffee lifting weights and running and then uh, on the opposite side so here on the opposite side is really cool even though I've never heard of me buys you can see they have an email for support as well as a toll free US number so that is very reassuring and it shows you Monday through Sunday 900 or 9 o'clock to 1700 Pacific time and so that's very reassuring. Also on Amazon's website, they have like a 30-day uh, money-back satisfaction guaranteed or something like that. So that's all why I got these um, over the many other true wireless earbuds on Amazon's website. And here on the side, nothing much, just the barcode and the, I guess the name of the, and nothing here on the other side. And here on the back is the features again 24 hour playtime cvc noise cancellation ipx5 waterproof google and siri compatible advanced wireless bluetooth 5.0 hands-free microphone okay so let's um open the box up how do i open this up all right so i pushed in here and then that's the sleeve so Here's the box, and like I said, this is pretty much identical. The packaging it looks identical also to the uh, Creative Outlier Airs on uh, Creative's website. Again, you have Me Buys. Says the next generation audio technology. Again, over here are the features. You know, 24-hour playtime, IPX5, Google uh, Aptex certification from Qualcomm. Uh, right here is the Me Buys name. Um, here in the back is the picture of the earbuds. And it says turn on automatically, no hassle, no fuss. Okay, so let us um, open. Open, it says right here. Important note. Uh, you guys could read that for yourself. But here's what we want. Here's the earbuds. And here is the case in plastic, but let's pull those aside first. Put those aside. Here it comes with a pretty cool looking, uh, this is probably the micro USB cable. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six extra ear tips, so f make sure you find the right one for you. I'm hoping, um, I can use these ear tips right here, these memory foam ear tips from my um, Altec Lansing. If I can't, I'm probably going to order um, the Compli ear memory foam ear tips. I usually always get Compli memory foam ear tips for all of my earbuds. And then right here is your uh, instruction manual. And it says package contents, two wireless earbuds, charging case, uh, two large ear caps, two middle ear caps, two small ear caps. So six in total, including, I guess, the ones here. So including the ones here, 
that's seven. So here's the charging. Blah. So here's the manual introduction. This is a. Okay. So it looks like there's 13 pages here in English. And then I guess probably 13 pages in Chinese. Okay, so let's just put those off to the side. And like I said, it's got a pretty good. Uh, this micro USB. I wish it was. I wish it was uh, USB C. The Creative Outlier Air was a uh, USB C. And this is micro USB. And I got like so many micro USBs. I'm probably not even going to break these out. Because my uh, wireless charging. I have a few wireless charging docks that have the micro USB already. So I'm probably not going to even need this. Even though it's a nice addition. This uh, cable. I wish it would have had wireless charging like this one. But hey, the case does have those those status LEDs I was telling you about. So let's uh, look at the case first. It's wrapped in this uh, eco-friendly plastic bag, and it's much smaller than my um, Altic Lansing. That's for sure. And then let's break out the uh, one of the earbuds so we can see them. And these are compared to the Altic Lansing. A little bit smaller. Let's go zoom in on them. So my Altec Lansings are definitely uh, bigger and they do stick out a little bit more. But these Altec Lansing have these wing tips right here which is very good for staying inside your ears. The whole time I've been working out and using these uh, Altic Lansings, they have never once fell out of my ears and I never really had to adjust them while working out, even when getting all sweaty. Um, I don't think these come with ear tips or wing tips, these wings right here. So we're gonna have to see if they stay in. So, That is the little comparison between my old and new Aptek certified Bluetooth 5.0. This is a Bluetooth 4.2. Don't know if there's Aptex on it, but there's never been any lag on these headphones when uh, watching videos or music or listening to music. There's never been any lag on these, so I don't know what this has, but I've never had any latency issues with my Altic Lansings. But this shouldn't have any latency issues because of the Aptex and Qualcomm um, certification. So another plus I really liked about these Altec Lansing was the connection was very strong. Um, I've never lost any connection when going from one end of the gym to the other, like when getting weights or like doing lunges around the basketball court and I just put my bag off to the side in the corner my workout bag with the uh with the my smartphone I've never once lost any uh connection on this so the signal strength on these uh Bluetooth 4.2 Alt Altic Lansing this one was very good um one let's look at the case more in detail here so what am I looking at? Okay, so this is probably the back of the case. You have your uh, port right there for micro USB. Here's the Mi Buys uh, logo. And it's it's a glossy case. I think it's tra it's a it's kind of see-through, although it doesn't show it cuz you you should be able to see um your earbuds through this uh, case even when the lid is closed so you can see the LED status on the um, on the earbuds and also right here the display the LED display which tells you how much uh, charge you have left in numbers okay and this is for the uh, these prongs right here for the to charge your uh, your earbuds and they are I think they are magnetic let me see <laughs> I hope I have them on the right one 
Yeah. Okay. They they are supposed they are magnetic, but the earbuds, the earbud, each of these earbuds have plastic where the prongs connect, so that um you know, the battery will be, won't drain during a uh, packaging or, yeah, while they're still inside the package. So that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is uh. What I'm going to do right now is uh, read the instruction manual. Uh, make sure I have these have some kind of charge. And then um, see how they sound. And then we'll end the unboxing and initial review first impressions on these headphones. Okay, so I got the, um, the plastic removed from these, uh, these uh, copper prongs here. So let's see uh, if there's any charge on these uh, earbuds. Okay, so they are magnetic. And uh, what does it say? It says 100. So, wow. Are they 100? Uh, let me see. It said 100. And see, you can see the uh, LED lights right there to show you that they are charging but they're at 100 and now look they're blinking so I think they're trying to pair once you open the lid I think it's trying to pair where is my smartphone <laughs> where's my Note 9 that was pretty amazing okay so once I took these earbuds or I removed the plastic um, backing on the back of the earbuds and they hit the charging dock magnetically connected they all the light started flashing and they already started trying to pair with my uh, smartphone as you can see here I'm already connected so as you can see it says uh, me buys e19 L that's for left and then you have a uh, me buys E19R so the right one is uh, right here is I think the master because with these uh, headphones or these earbuds um, you can take calls or listen to them in mono mode and take calls in mono mode or stereo that means you can hear calls from both earbuds or you can just take calls from one of the earbuds or listen to one of the earbuds on the uh, Altec Lansings, I believe uh, I could only listen or take calls through one of the earbuds, and that was the left one. And I don't know. I've never tried playing in mono mode. I, I want my sound in full stereo, not mono. So that's probably not an issue for me. I, I probably the, the whole time I'm going to have these uh, earbuds, I'm probably never going to listen to them in mono mode. I always like things in stereo. Preferably full surround sound, 3D, whatever. And so I don't think I'll need that um, feature or function, but it's nice to have for those of you who want it. You can use mono mode or whatever. So yeah, they're already paired and connected. And so I'm going to just play a few tracks on my uh, smartphone and see how they sound um, right off the bat. I'll probably have to play around with ear tips and things like that, or I'm hoping... Uh, these foam tips that come with this Altec Lansing will fit on, on these. And that's probably what, what, what I'll wear them with. So I will be right back and tell you guys how they sound initially off the bat. And then um, we'll end this unboxing and initial first impressions review. So if you guys are curious, this is how the uh, earbuds look inside of your ears. As you can see. So they're pretty much almost inconspicuous. Um, if I put these on, let's see. This is the left one. I'm going to take this off. Put in my Altec Lansing. And you can see the difference. 
This is the Mi Buys and this is the Altec Lansing right here. So there is a big difference. But like I said, I love these uh, tips on these uh, Altec Lansings because it keeps them in your ears. So let's do a shake test real quick. So you put these, you put these earbuds this way, like so. And although when they're both on it, noise is pretty much muffled around you right now. It's like I'm covering my ears like this. And uh, let's do the sh let's do the shake test. <sighs> Damn. Pretty good. So the Mi Buys E19s passed the shake test, but I'm not really sweaty right now. So once I get working out, we'll see if they stay on. Okay, so far so good. The as you guys can see, the earbuds passed the shake test, and listening to a few music tracks off the gate. Um, even with the default tips right here, the default um, ear tips, they sound pretty good. I must say, uh, good separation in stereo. Let me let me let you guys hear, uh, get a sample and see. I'm gonna put the microphone right here, close to these uh, earbuds, right there. I'm gonna play the soundtrack for my favorite TV show right now. That's on uh, Warrior. It just finished its first season, and man. I love this show. If you're a fan of Bruce Lee and uh, martial arts, you'll love this show, Warrior. It's on Cinemax. If you don't have Cinemax, I would pay the monthly just for one month and download all the shows and then watch them. It's that good. And then once the show is over like it is now, if you don't really have a subscription to Cinemax, then you can uh, end it. Okay, so we're going to play the track. So uh, not bad, not bad at all. And you know, they say for most uh, like headphones or earbuds or whatever, you should burn them in for like 15, 20 hours or so, something like that. So, so far so good right off the bat. They're good. And uh, man, they had a, they had a full charge. I'm, I'm surprised they had a full charge. Um, taking them out usually most things you get they're not going to be at a full charge they paired up very easily although i did have problem i had one little issue with just the right or the left one connecting and the other one couldn't connect because the first time it tried to pair i didn't um hit the okay for one of the earbuds so i had to replace both of the earbuds back into the case close the lid and it turned them off and then um once they got turned off, I waited a few seconds, opened the lid back up, and they started pairing with my phone again. And this time, I acknowledged to pair both of them. And ha there hasn't been any issues since. So, I, I, like I said, as you can see here, you can see them while they're charging. And although you can't see the LED now for the charge, you could only see it when you open it up. But see, once you open it up, it'll start pairing. 
and you could I don't know if you hear that but it's already saying it's pairing or it's connecting so I better make sure I acknowledge it or else I'm gonna have those issues again with uh but yeah so anyways that's uh, all for the unboxing for right now in a short time that I've had them and showing it off to you guys unboxing this I'm very satisfied and very happy with the sound the build quality is good uh, the build quality is comparable to this uh, to my Altec Lansings. Uh, I mean, they're all made out of plastic, and um, they pair very easily, and no latency issues so far. But like I said, I'm not going to fully recommend these until I've had them for about a week or so, maybe two weeks of using them, so that you guys, so I can like really make sure that you know. They're up to snuff. But right off the bat right now, they're good. But will I recommend them right right now? Yes. But in about a week or so, will I still recommend them? Don't know. So we'll have to find you guys will have to stay tuned to see if I will still recommend them after the initial you know one or two week period. If uh these are gonna be my headphones to use from now on. Or there, there'll be my other secondary headphones next to these uh, Altic Lansings. So the Altic Lansings, um, they sound pretty comparable. Um, although, I don't know. This might have a little bit more bass, but loudness, these get pretty loud. Um, but like I said, it all depends on if you find the right ear tips or not. So I'm hoping I can use the memory foam tips because they're they, the, the foam tips inside of my ears are just so much more comfortable. And uh, they bring out more bass than the silicone tips. And these do not come with uh, memory foam tips. So I'm going to see if I can order some on Amazon with the uh, Compli earphones. Or yeah, Compli uh, memory foam ear tips or something like that. So that's the end of the unboxing and initial review. Like I said, stay tuned for... About like a week or so from now, I'll uh, give you my final verdict, um, whether I recommend these or not. But upon initial first time impressions, they are recommended as of right now. But like I said, I would stay tuned to my channel for another week or two of using these so I can recommend them, fully recommend them. So please like and subscribe if you guys have found this video informative and helpful and uh for all the dads out there happy father's day and uh everybody take care we'll see you soon for more videos have a great day